guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you to on to and how to be at least fashionable um, in terms of using a personal protective e equipment, which is your coverall in these times of pandemic. So, um, kaya ako nag-stick ngayon, or kung yung subject ko ngayon is the coverall. If you if you watch already my previous um, previous uh, video, I already discussed some of the personal protective equipment on how to use, on how to select, and how to identify and assess whether it, uh, if it is functional or and if it is safe to use. So, for today's video, since hindi ko siya na-cover dun sa previous video ko, um, cover all naman yung topic or at least yung main subject. So, nowadays, uh, hindi na natin kasi masyadong nagagamit or wala nang supply or limited supply yung um, standard standard uh, uh, cover all na pwedeng na ginagamit at saka pwedeng gamitin sa hospital setting or any healthcare facility. So kaya lumabas din yung mga alternative cover alls na pwede naman natin siyang gamitin. So functionality wise, functional siya. Safety wise, safe naman din sa gamitin. And then later on, I'll show you how to assess and how to identify and how to test your cover all um, if it is safe and functional. So I have with me a a sample from Tech Life. This is the cover all. Yeah. It is made from a uh, it is made from microfiber which is uh, water repellent material and then it's a uh, lightweight naman siya, comfortable to use, breathable din naman siya since it's a parang certain parang parang like 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 uh, cotton, parang ganun, parang cotton din siya in material. Tapos um, the main purpose of your coverall is to protect you from um, any respiratory droplet or any um, water or water in material na pwedeng mag-splash um, sa katawan mo. So, ito, with this coverall, it is functional and safe to use because personally, I tested it um, kung, kung talagang water repellent siya. And then, um, yun nga, mas madali din siyang gamitin tapos washable din siya. So, you can wash your uh, cover all if it is made for, um, if, if it is made sa cotton material or microfiber um, specifically pwede naman siyang i-wash pero with in terms of washing um, pag kapag medyo matagal na or pag mad, madalas na rin, na, na rin natin siyang ginagamit one purpose or one um, identifier or one um, signal parang ganun signal to dispose your cover alls or um, one is um, damage. Tapos, two, hindi na siya water repellent. And then, three, hindi na siya comfortable gamitin. So, itapo na natin siya. At least, hindi, hindi tayo hindi tayo in danger. Or, at least, safe pa rin tayo kung gagamit tayo ng, ng bago. And then, sa, sa title nga, na how to be at least, kahit pa paano, how to be fashionable. Um, and, parang, in wearing your PPE. Um, I got to check with uh, this is a a store named Guwash. Guwash. Sorry kung tama ba yung pagka-pronounce ko. Guwash. It's a a leather store. Um, you can check their Instagram account and then Facebook account. I leave the link sa doon sa description kung ano yung kung ano yung yung in-offer nila. Um, they are offering a kimono type PPE which is we can use and then I already tested it with if it is water repellent kasi yun yung nakalagay na water repellent nga daw siya. So, personally, I, I used it and then comfortable siya and then ano din siya, ma magaang and then I think kahit matapos tong pandemic na to, magagamit ko pa rin sa kapag ano, kala mo naman may winter tayo, di ba? Pero kapag yung medyo uh, malalamig yung panahon, or kapag malamig na yung panahon, like yung mga burn months, like for example, ngayon, then pwede natin siya talagang magamit. Kasi it's a certain, parang somehow, para siyang um, a large, large size kimono. Although, I think um, one size lang talaga yung pwede, na, pwede nyo, or pwede nating mabilis sa, dun sa store, sa guwash, um, one size lang siya. So, nakalagay din doon kung, kung anong type ng katawan ng model and then kung anong height. So, pwede nyo naman din siyang i-check kung, kung somehow kung mag-fit din siya sa inyo. Kasi ako mag-fit, nag-fit siya sa akin kasi about the same height and then about the same um, body build din. So, 
perfectly fit. So ganun din. So nagamit ko naman din siya ng ng maayos. And then I think it it cost you or it will cost you 650 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 650 per kimono PPE. And I think there meron din meron ding ibang design ng PPE na ino-offer din sila or at least may may binebenta rin sila na iba yung design. And then for girls or for sa mga babae na subscribers ko, you can also check Happy Andrada on her Instagram account. So, Happy Andrada is a well-renowned a uh, fashion designer. Nag nagko-customize din siya or gumagawa din siya ng PPE na pwede siyang maging at least kahit papaano fashionable, presentable, um, innovative kasi iba ibang klase talaga yung design ni Happy. So, dun sa mga babae and, and even for guys, Meron din siyang in-offer for guys. Meron din siyang uh, meron din siyang ginawa na PPE for guys, not only for girls. Um, you can check nga, you can check her Instagram account tapos makikita niyo yung mga design niya, yung mga magaganda niyang design na PPE. Hindi siya normal normal type of coveralls. As in iba talaga. Isipin mo pwede siyang pampasok or pwede talaga siyang pang sa hap pang fashion, parang ganoon. At least kahit papaano, yung mga yung mga talagang gusto talaga na yung mga fashionista or yung talagang gusto talaga mag mag dress up pa rin in times of ngayon in times of pandemic magagamit niyo yung design ni Happy kasi nga iisipin niyo um well designed na siya well executed tapos um uh, pero ko para sa protection din siya so it's a certain type of um PPE, parang ganon. So it served, it also served the function. So I got to talk with Happy. It is also a water repellent, and then it's a microfiber then. So yun nga, comfortable din siyang isuot, magang din sa, and then washable sa, and then yun. You basa, it check nyo, kasi maganda talaga, maganda talaga. So yun lang. This is how you check, and this is how you test your cover also. Um, kunin yung cover all nyo, and then sa sa faucet um, hindi naman siya ganun kalakas ha pero um pa paagusin yung water doon sa cover all and then check nyo if parang nagsasaya or nagsisway yung water and then you can also check the back part kung nababasa siya or kung tumatagos siya kasi kung tumatagos siya syempre hindi siya water repellent pero ito with this material talagang water repellent siya kasi kung nakikita niyo nagsisway yung water tapos hindi talaga siya nababasa or hindi talaga siya na hindi na hindi na absorb ng cover all yung 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 water so get yun yung uh, one um, parang one hack on how you check if water repellent talaga yung ano yung cover all so same thing with the gouache the gouache PP is also a water repellent so ayon so I think and I hope um, for that simple way or simple this simple video I can able to show you on how to properly select on and how to properly identify assess and check and test your cover all para safe kayo so functionality wise or safety wise um, at least kaya paano na ituro ko kung paano sa gawen or kung paano sa itse so if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube YouTube channel it's Hex or Beta you can like and then you can comment and then somehow you can also click that notification bell para din at least kaya paano kung may interested kayo with this kind of video at least updated kayo dun sa mga iba pa and then follow me also on my Instagram account it's Hexy Hex and my Facebook page is Hex or Beta yun lang thank you God bless and thank you Hex. Thank <laughs> you.